In this video, we'll look at how a special condition called periodicity can greatly speed up a SOLIDWORKS flow simulation under the appropriate circumstances. The example we'll be looking at is a battery pack that's cooled by liquid immersion, where we have some non-conductive fluid flowing across the entire unit. Because of the tiny gaps between the cells, it requires a decent amount of mesh refinement to be able to resolve the flow between these small gaps accurately. In this example, I'm using a local mesh control with the channels refinement enabled. We can see this produces the expected result, but on larger problems, this will come at the expense of solve time. So one way to speed a problem like this up when we have some repeating pattern is to set a periodicity condition. This is set by simply editing the computational domain adjusting the limits until they're in line with the region that you'd like the split to occur, and setting the axis to periodicity. This will represent a subsection of the cells as some infinitely repeating pattern. So it's only appropriate for long repeating patterns, such as we have here. Note that unlike SOLIDWORKS simulation, in flow simulation, when you're using the symmetry or periodicity condition, we don't want to cut the, the actual model geometry. All we need to do is size down the computational domain. There's also axial periodicity, which is appropriate for analyzing a wedge section and is even compatible with certain methods for rotation. Finally, the last consideration is for any conditions such as boundary conditions or heat sources that are cut by the computational domain will want to pay special attention. For instance, the battery cells that are completely encompassed within the computational domain will get their full heat power, and the battery cells that are split in half by the computational domain will get a half heat power. This is also important for things like volume flow rates for faces that might be cut by the domain. With this method of simplification, we're able to use even more mesh refinement and have an even more reasonable solve time with nearly identical results to analyzing the full model. This content was just a small piece of the content from the recent webinar, Solving Electric Vehicle Thermal Challenges, where we'll examine multiple case studies of battery cooling, as well as general electronics cooling problems in the context of the EV industry, as well as going over setup tips that will help speed up any flow simulation analysis. So if you missed it and would like to check it out, look for a link in the video description below. Thanks for watching and let us know what type of content you'd like to see next for SOLIDWORKS flow simulation.